Hello everyone, it's Jessica here and I'm back with another scrapbook process video for you for the Paper Issues Design Team. And today I'm showing you my layout for the October 3rd scrap lift. Um, this one's by Rachel and this is her gorgeous scrapbook page that she created. And she started by using a um, stencil on her background with some inks and I'm going to do the same. So I have just created my own stencil using one of our free cut files. Um, I believe this one's called the brush stroke background cut file and I'll link it below for you um, with the exact name. But what I did was I just cut this out on my Cricut and created my own stencil using just some craft paper. It's a little bit thicker than normal paper so I chose that. Um, that way it, it would hold up a little bit better to these inks being on it. And if you notice that this stencil has already been used, that is because it was. Um, the first time I did this, I actually forgot to turn my camera on. So um, I'm actually doing this a second time just for the sake of this video. So this one is actually going to look just a smidge different than the one I will actually be using for the remainder of the video when I peel this template off. But if had I had not told you that, you probably would have never known. But. Um, but it turns out okay in the end and now I have another lovely background that I can use for something else So I just went in here using my um, I believe these are the hero arts brushes and I'm using the Tim Holtz distress inks in salvage patina Evergreen bow prize ribbon worn lipstick and sponge sugar and what I did there was I sprinkled some water over it um, to create the little white splotches. As you can see there, it has little white splotches in it. That is specifically from just putting the water to it because these types of inks do react with the water. Then I'm just gonna go here and create some tags like on Rachel's scrap lift. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach some of these eyelets to my tags using my crocodile tool. This is actually a tool that I don't use very much, so I'm always pretty excited whenever I can actually pull it out to use it. And that I remember how to use it, that's the other thing. <laughs> so I am just kind of going through here, looking th for um, some eyelets that I wanna use. I was gonna use those smaller ones, but then I decided against it, and I did decide to use the bigger ones from my jar there. So I just picked some in coordinating colors that I thought looked okay. And there you can see me putting those eyelets on there using the tool. So you just kind of squeeze it and then it um, puts them on there for you. It's a pretty neat little clever tool, but I, like I said, I don't really use it that much. So just finishing these two up, um, there's a pink one and then there's a white one yet. Just punching the hole and then setting the eyelet. I try to spin it around a little bit to kind of show you what I'm doing there, but it's it's hard to tell. So I have four photos here. This is um, of my son and his little friend, and she came over to visit, and he just loved seeing her, and it was just a little bit too much love because he gave her a great big hug, and they both ended up falling on the floor and crying and all of that good stuff. <laughs> so I decided that I'm going to put a title on this that says too much love because he does. He's a big lover and a huge hugger and he does tend to over love at times, but I mean, can you ever have too much love really? So <laughs> it was a funny moment and I'm just happy that I get to document it like this. So it looked like Rachel's original uh, layout had some little banners at the bottom. So I'm just cutting some of those and popping them in behind my photos on top of the tags. And I just make my own. I know there is um, a banner punch in the shop that you can get to make this for you, but I just cut mine with scissors because I don't have it. There's my son in the bottom right coming in. He wants me to open a granola bar for him. <laughs> So good that he's popping in today to say hello. <laughs> and it was funny when I was creating this background, he actually came over and was watching um, as I was making it. And he said, oh, good mommy. Good mommy. I like it. <laughs> it was so sweet. He loves being in my craft room with me whenever I'm making things. But he's usually making just as big of a mess as I am. <laughs> So I'm just going to distress the edges of all these tags just to give them a little bit extra effect and dimension. 
And I'm going to do that to all of them. And then as I'm going through those, I'm also kind of sticking down these banner pieces and adhering my photos as well. And I do use the ATG gun. If you've never watched any of my videos, um, I am an ATG fan and I absolutely love it. It's like my number one go-to adhesive. It sticks, it stays. Um, I've had I've had some really old scrapbooks that I've used it in and they're still sticking fast and holding up really nicely. So I absolutely love it. Just distressing this tag as well. And then I'm gonna stick those down. And then after I get these stuck down, I'm gonna do some stamping and some embellishing.
So here is my finished layout. I hope you guys can join with us and play along in our scrapbook group, um, which is the Facebook group. It's called Paper Issues Friends and Fans. And you can enter all month long in order for a chance to win prizes. So hopefully you can play along with us. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.